I've seen what the White Witch can do. And I've helped her do it. And we can't leave these people behind to suffer for it. To a place that no longer exists. And I felt that was something that people. With Anna Georgie Scan. <laughs> On any given day, you have the weather is completely erratic. There were things I would always try. Entire production. Very. Andrew's very respectful of it. Seems to come so natural, detailed um, image of it in his. Yep, yeah, it's beautiful. The time I walked into the castle set, was really quite intimidated by it. I think that's what that set gave me, performance wise, was the fact that it's a life size castle courtyard and when you fill it with Telmarine soldiers who are basically burly stunt guys and you're asked to fight them even though you know what the routine is it's fairly intimidating <laughs> sorry you better come quick Lee I'm starting to again <laughs> <gasps> Not that big. <laughs> What's your name? Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Georgie is just a really... Georgie is, is a lot more comfortable with herself. It's cave on, you're always cave on. You might be surprised. Script. I was really excited by the fact that Susan gets to do a bit more action stuff this time. You know, in the last film, the girls were so split off for a lot of the action parts of the film. I think there's no reason that... I have loved doing the fighting scenes. I've loved being in the raid and the battle and um, kind of getting my teeth into some of the stunts and stuff. That's been really exciting because I didn't get to do that so much in the first movie. I always was very annoyed in that, even in the last year, a bow and arrows but she never got to use them. And I thought, well, that's really unfair. It's kind of like having a Christmas gift that you're not allowed to play with. So it seemed right. I'm currently trying to fix my quiver so that I can grab an arrow and stab it in someone's leg. Well, Susan and allowing herself to adopt that more kind of warrior status is actually her getting more comfortable with herself and growing up a lot and becoming more mature. And as I say, a bigger, darker, scarier, more adult journey for the kids. Susan is in The Horse and His Boy, but Pretty much, this is this is teenage Susan done, um, which is really sad. We were all dealing with the emotion, and that was that wasn't a really hard scene to film because it was obviously sad because Will and I viewed with and something I wanted to get across in the film, and something that we experienced making the film is we were returning to, and because of that, there's a certain cynicism that comes with it. I think our personal experience going through the film sort of inches were different, and I feel like there, and I feel like we personally got there.